Hey guys, it is me, Tanya, founder of the TNG Designs Group Limited. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. Now, in this video, we're going to be talking about what is a logo. Now, you're probably thinking, Tan, uh, why a video on this? Well, here's why. A lot of the times, people are out here just starting their businesses, getting themselves out there, but thinking that I'm just going to just slap any old thing across my name and that will be it. And But guess what? It could be the difference of you actually being sought out after or even being recognized as the brand that you are versus you being overlooked by your competition and then some and being missed out on an opportunity that could be really relevant to your the growth of your business. So that's the relevancy of it. Make sure you stick around to the very end of this video to get exactly why or what to look out for specifically when it does come to your logo. OK, make sure you stick around to the very end because as always I've got a super cool gift for you. But folks, before we get stuck into it, make sure you also go ahead and like and subscribe to this channel because I'm very aware of all the views that I get, which is absolutely brilliant. But you know what? Can you go that one step further and actually make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to this channel because support is amazing. And you know what? Let's take it that one step further. Equally, make sure you go ahead and share this video or even this channel with somebody else who you think that could actually really benefit from a service or from a channel just like this. So folks, without further ado, let's get stuck into it. Okay, so as I said, we're going to be talking about what is a logo. So in order to understand what a logo is, I need to just sort of paint a picture for you to be able to understand the magnitude of it, give it some gravitas, all that kind of good stuff. But it just really helps you to visualize as to exactly what the logo is or what a logo is. First and foremost, your logo is not your brand, nor is your logo your marketing, nor is your logo anything else but your logo. It's an uh, element or a device that actually helps to guide people into understanding or wanting to find out even more about what it is that you do. Now picture this, right? Imagine a big home. Imagine your home and from the outside, you've got a front door. That's essentially your logo. This colorful front door, this picturesque kind of front door, whatever the front door may look like to suit your desire or to suit your styling, that's your logo, okay? The minute that you open that door, is what you start seeing around you. So you start seeing the environment, you start seeing the intricacies that actually make a house a home. That's actually your brand, okay? So that's a really cool way to be able to just visualize it. So the logo is not the brand and the brand is equally not the logo. So make sure that you do actually separate the two. However, they do actually go hand in hand in each other with each other in order, for be, uh, in order to be able to make sure that your viewer, your listener, your audience, your prospect, whoever is coming across your platform actually gets to see a type of representation that matches you. And that's the other thing that a logo is. It's representation for you. So imagine that you're out and about, but you're also got other marketing tools going on. You're not necessarily with those marketing tools. So the marketing, tool, marketing tools are actually speaking for you. Your logo is your stamp that actually resonates or allows that type of recognition to be understood. It's a stamp of recognition that takes your viewer from one step to the next in order to be able to find out who it is that you are and what it is that you do. Think of it like I always call them guiding tools because it's exactly what it does. It guides people from one stage to the next and equally starts taking them on that journey when you're not able to at the very beginning or for whatever reason that may be as well. So folks, I really hope that that video really helped you and resonated with you. It is essentially a really cool tool to be able to understand um, what it is that it can do for yourself. If you can make sure that your logo literally matches your brand and your beliefs and your values, believe you and me, it really does matter. And another thing that you've got to be mindful of when you are picking your logo, don't just pick it because you know what? Oh yeah, I really like it. It's very pretty or it's that will do type of thing. And you have that kind of attitude towards it. Now at the very beginning of stages, yeah, keep it simple. Keep it super simple when you're starting out, when you're trying to build the awareness of what it is that you're doing. However, always match it to your values and just keep it relevant, especially when it comes to building the idea of who it is that you are. Your logo, as I said before, is that gateway, is that doorway, right? So why not choose an emblem um, that actually represents who you are? Maybe at the beginning stages, it is just your name and that's okay but be mindful of what further on down the line when it does come to the point of you actually representing what it is that you do as i said your logo is a mark for doing that and i've actually got a few videos out already talking about how to actually test your logo actually matches your brand and your values but even equally 
the different types of logos that are out there as well just to help you with your inspiration and so forth so go ahead and check those out but for understanding what a logo is and what it can actually do for you <clears throat> as I shared at the beginning of this video know that your logo is that source of representation that is there to guide your viewer to guide your audience to guide your prospect into coming to want to understand a little bit more about you so it's your invitation as well as your doorway okay now understanding that part that's one side of things but now the magnitude of having a logo the magnitude of having a source of representation or a stamp of recognition the magnitude of that carries far greater than what you're probably thinking about simply because not only does it build on the attitude of you because now you've got a source of recognition or source of representation it actually helps anybody who's uh, coming across your business or coming across your services coming across the product coming across the reason why you're doing what you're doing your cause your fight wherever that may be for your brand it actually adds a sense of professionalism it actually adds a sense of uh, positioning it really does position you even further just that one step ahead of the game one step ahead of most importantly your competition because you now have a stamp of recognition and the weight that that carries as i said before is far greater than what you actually think your logo can be your name your logo can be an emblem your logo can be so many things but keep it super relevant to your business to your service to your product to whatever it is that you're doing for the reference of your brand keep it super simple and to the point if you've ever seen my logo you would have seen it on this particular channel specifically um, it is literally TNG I go that basic with it now uh, depending on when you're actually watching this video I'm actually in the process of actually redoing it um, and that's something else that you should also consider does your, your logo actually represent who you are today now you know we always talk about the idea of your values what do they represent you or how do they even represent you so the same purpose for your logo does your logo still represent what it is that you do you know and even think outside the box there are many ways and I'm gonna um, also check out um, a video that I have with regards to how can a logo really help the business and there's a lady that I worked with a trichologist to be more specific now typically in the trichology world you're looking at logos with hair follicles coming out of the skin or what's coming out of the, the the scalp if you like and just like a cross section of that right and I wanted to do something different I wanted to do something different for her specifically because she is different she is doing something more your logo should represent just that little added twist that matches your character which is why I always say that check out your values in order to understand is the styling of your logo suitable to what it is that you do now you could have something that is as, as quirky or as um, crazy or what would you call it crazy I didn't even know I was just thinking about like a, an ice cream cone for example or an ice cream that could actually represent a car think about what is the relevancy between an ice cream cone and a car whatever that may be for your business it could actually work simply because that ice cream cone could actually match the smoothness the feeling the silkiness the idea of having that perfect flavor that suits your taste to suit the design of a car or to suit the design of the or the brand of the car those meanings as to what that ice cream cone can portray can actually match the meaning of the car as well but you have to understand what your values are of that car in the first place okay so which is why i always say lead with your values understand what your values are in order to be able to understand right does that even match what it is that i do in the first place so there we go folks check that out understand what it is for yourself understand that how a logo can actually really um, imply or, or create a representation that is suitable to you and your brand and the magnitude of it it's important to be able to have a logo that represents you that represents and guides others into wanting to find out more about yourself but equally creates a level of positioning that allows others to equally also see you finally right so folks I'm gonna leave it there Please make sure that you go ahead and like subscribe to this channel as always and you know what I have for you. It's a gift from myself to you to be able to understand, right, how can you make sure that your things like logos, your guiding tools like your logos and any other marketing assets or any other branding assets that, have, that you have coming from your business or have coming from your personal brand, whatever that may be, 
This particular guide will help you to understand six key principles that you need to make sure that you are covering when it does come to your branding and especially any other assets that come from your brand. So make sure you go ahead and click on the link that's in the description box below. Check that out. Yes, I do actually have other resources which will be coming out very soon, depending again when you are actually watching this particular video. Make sure you go ahead and check that particular one out. In any case, there is another gift, because you know I'm a giver, in the sense where, do you know what, it's all about value for me and you will get an amazing value from this, for sure. Go ahead and check that out and folks, I will see you on the other side.